Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and uh, this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a reading with me, go to my website angelsouls444.com. Do not wait to put in your request and check the description box. I have lots of lives coming up so make sure you check that out. I'm smiling because I just recorded uh, the daily for yesterday. And I went down this whole road about not shaving and being able to wear granny panties um, and comfortable bras. I, I don't know. Hi. Welcome. Okay, anyway. So we have Shanti. I am the angel of peace. All that stuff brings you peace. It does. Yeah. <laughs> not, okay, before I read this, because I'm on that tangent. Um, when you get older, like I made... I made a mistake purchase online and let's just say when you move away from what you're told you're supposed to wear under your clothes to discovering like I don't have to do that and I'm talking about underwear certain type of underwear ladies you know exactly what I'm talking about when you don't have a certain thing um invading crevices <laughs> of your body your mood improves, you sleep better, your blood pressure comes down. That's it. That's all I want to say about that. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Okay. So this, you know, I'm making this whole joke because, you know, it's disgusting and funny, but I'm making this whole joke about underwear, but <laughs> really there's a bigger message there, isn't there? Man, I can make a message out of anything. Look at me. Is that bad or good? I feel like it's good. I feel like it's cool. Um, but like, think about that. When you break out of, I don't want to do that. I don't have to go out and party on a Saturday night. Because I'm going to stay home and watch Yellowstone. Um, I don't want to, like I've been doing this a lot. Well, not a lot. But like, I, I can't remember the last time I was at a restaurant. I've just been ordering food in because I'm just happier at home. Now, people who are in the narcissistic or on the narcissistic spectrum who feed off of people, they're the ones pushing that narrative that there's something wrong with you if you're not feeling like being social. And I would put it, that steals our peace, doesn't it? I would uh, put up a big caution sign around that. Um, we're going to be waking up more and more to... Um, realizing that it has been a certain personality type that's put that narrative out there that we've all fallen for and maybe we haven't been living authentically for ourselves right um because someone else says well if you're not partnered off there's something wrong with you <coughs> excuse me if you um if you just want to stay in and enjoy you guys remember i don't remember what movie it was i think it was um j-lo i think j-lo was in the movie but um she was supposed to be this like successful woman and this it's an older movie but um she comes home and she has a tv tray and she sits with her meal and a glass of wine and i haven't seen it in forever but i remember there being sad music behind it because i remember being so like what the f is this like what why are they portraying this like it's so sad and i think it was a romance where she's trying to fall in love i don't know but anyway um that is the very kind of narrative that has been put out there that is utter BS, okay? D Honey, my happy place is my skincare routine, okay? I live for it. I love it. Um, and then I will make myself a meal happily, uh, joyfully, okay? And there's no pressure that someone else is going to complain about what I made or how I made it. That's a factor. Um... And then I don't really drink, but every once in a while I'll have a little glass of wine or something. But if I sat on my cozy, comfy couch that has as many dang pillows as I care to have without anybody telling me I have too many pillows, and I watch Yellowstone, I'm living. Or Designing Women. I'm on a Designing Women kick right now. Um, so yeah, so like that's really, really happy. And yet it's being portrayed as like, oh, you're so sad and pathetic cat lady. Cats are awesome. Okay. You feel me? How do I get on this? Finding your peace. That was the bottom line. <laughs> Maybe today was not the right day to batch film because I'm all chatty. But, you know, we're breaking away from what we've been told is supposed to make us happy. We're figuring out what really does bring us peace. When you tap into that, ooh, it's, it's one of the biggest, like, 
I don't even think that's an aha moment. That's like seeing the aliens coming down um, and grabbing up a cow. But, um, you know, it, it's that kind of moment where it's like, I remember, I remember I was out at a club. I was in New York City and it was a friend's birthday. And we were at the club in New York that had the carnival theme. She had a table. Okay. If you guys don't know what that a table service. I don't really understand the concept of it. You get like a booth and you pay way more for the alcohol than you normally would. That's what it seems like to me. Correct me down below. Okay. But I remember I'm sitting there and um, the friend who was having a birthday, she, okay, I'm going to make sure I get that. She was FBI intelligence and another friend of ours was an FBI agent. So we're hanging out with all these FBI people. Uh, and there was a cute guy there too. It was kind of flirting with him. That was fun. But I'm sitting there and I just remember I'm like, Looking around, I'm like, I'm in New York City. We got a table, okay? Um, Someone's coming over and making little drinks for me and doing all this. And, you know, I have my corporate job and I'm wearing this certain dress and I have a certain handbag and certain shoes and all the things. And I'm sitting there and there's this really hot FBI agent guy sitting next to me and we're having this whole conversation. Uh, And then I found out what, what division he was in. Let's just say uh, he had to catch, like, people in the oldest profession. And when I heard that, I was like, oh, ugh, ugh. and this is, we found out why this guy was single. But anyway, so I'm sitting there, and I, you know, we should be happy. It's even like a carnival theme, like, you know, playing games and stuff. It's supposed to be really, really fun. And I had this moment where I just stopped there, it like, stopped and sat there, and I was like, I don't want to do this. None of this is making me happy. Like... None of this. And when I tell you that when I got home that night, I got, I quickly changed into my fluffy, comfy PJs, <laughs> got that makeup off my face, let my hair, brushed out all the stuff, all the product out of my hair, and I did my little skincare routine, which I love to do. And when I curled up in bed, I just felt like, oh my God, it's going to take me all night for my energy to recharge. And that was when... I mean, I took a turn. I took a real turn. And when people started inviting me out, I had no interest. I didn't want to do that. Partying, I guess, was not interesting anymore. But um, the reason why I'm giving all of these examples uh, and giving these, telling these stories is to really get into the nitty gritty of what we're supposed to like. If, if some people hear that story, they're like, oh my God, that sounds so fun. And it should have been, but it wasn't, Right. We have to discern what brings us peace. And if it's not bringing you peace, but you just see it as exciting and fun, is it a distraction? Right? We we hear so many people talk about, especially clubbing and things like that, as an outlet. For what? That's where you need to be. That's where we need to be working towards our peace. Okay, sorry about the long story. So we're going to leave it there. (laughs) So you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.